Hey, I'm Nadine Peart from Healthy You, Healthy Love. I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for love. And today's topic is a very kind of sad one, serious one, and a necessary topic for women, particularly older women over 40 looking for love, but even over 50, over 60, even more important, and yet it's still an important topic for women who are a lot younger as well because there are a few things that we have that are barriers to love. Some people don't believe that they're deserving of love, but one thing, which kind of leads into what I'm going to share with you about being deserving, some women believe that they're not young enough, pretty enough, gorgeous enough, sexy enough to attract men. And I wanna share with you, that is absolute bulldust. There are so many women and men falling in love every single day and the way they look has a not a lot to do with it. If you look at the world overall, most couples are what you call quintessentially gorgeous, sexy, attractive. They're just nice, average looking people. Most people are kind of that way. Particularly when you take the makeup off women, we're all just people doing our thing. And yet so many people find love. So if you are feeling like your butt's a bit big, you're sagging in the neck, you're getting a few lines, you're not feeling confident, then please, I want you to know that this should never be something that stops you from dating. I know you can feel self-conscious revealing yourself, your body to a new person, but everyone can feel that. And that is why I want you to feel confident to own your body. Now, sure, there are some men that would only be attracted to athletic, slim-ish women. Some men are only attracted to bigger women. That is the reality of life. Everyone has different preferences. And this is why when women say to me, oh, you know, men only like younger women. Men only like women who are really sexy and have large breasts and a, you know, a firm lifted bottom. I mean, it's crap. It's not true. Look around you. It is not true. What you focus on expands. So if you focus on that, then of course you're going to start feeling more insecure, less lovable. But if you believe that love is for everybody, no matter what shape, size, ethnicity, then you're going to start feeling more confident. I want you to own and rock your body, to feel confident, to believe that you're deserving of love. To help you with that, my program Never Lose Him goes into great detail around our emotions and our stories that we tell ourselves around love and also what kind of relationships we're attracted to, what kind of men we're attracted to, because this is all linked to our worth and how we perceive ourselves. It'll also give you the encouragement to start dating again and how to date from a really healthy place and how to date in a way that you show up with men, empowered, confident, and sexy, no matter, as I said, what's your age, body type, ethnicity, social status, financial situation, anything. I also teach the LIPS method, which really goes into great detail about the four attributes to a woman that really does attract the best type of men. So you don't want to miss that. If you haven't got it yet, please check out Never Lose Him right below in the description. But know that I also have some really incredible tips and tools in there beyond the LIPS method that are going to set you up to create the love that you really want. Now, before you go, please subscribe, hit that bell button, give me the thumbs up, and please share this with a friend who you know is struggling to get themselves out there in the dating world because of their lack of confidence and the stories they're telling themselves about men and their body and all that kind of stuff. This is going to be a game changer for them. So please support your friends in need. Also, if you'd like to connect with me further, please head over to Facebook and also Instagram and you can tag me there if you share any of my posts or my videos at Nadine Piet. I know this video is a bit of a short one and I've loved having you here with me. It's an honor and I'll see you again at my next Hot Topic.